Another tool that I want to talk about for fly fishing is the chest pack. What we're trying to do here is give you tips to make you dangerous. For years, guys fished with fly vests, and you can certainly still do that. But the chest pack has gotten kind of more popular than the fly vest. And part of the reason is you don't have all that fabric when it's hot out, sort of keeping you even warmer. And this won't have quite as many pockets as a vest, but it's surprising what they can pack in one of these. All of the gears in front of me, ready to go. I've got adjustable height on this, so I can wade. One of the things the fly vest hangs down low, and because of that, it will get in the water if you wade in fairly deep water. Obviously, I want to try to avoid that, so I'll wear my chest pack and I'll run it up real high so that it doesn't hang down to the water. I can wade a little bit deeper without getting all of my gear wet. I was notorious for getting the bottom couple pockets of my fly vest in the water. They go ahead, they put some waterproof pockets in some of these. Uh, it's a good place for me to put my camera, my batteries. Uh, if you got a phone, you put a phone in there. A lot of little places to hang tools. I got a little retractable nipper there. I've got my Dr. Slicks. Definitely an important release tool for trout fishing. Really, any fishing with smaller hooks, smaller stuff that's harder to get out. You know, bass fishing, you don't really need them. But for Pan fish, ice fishing, fly fishing, I use them all the time. I did a video on them, should be available over here. Anyway, the number of pockets, the number of options, pretty darn handy. I even have a, I got a D loop on the back, and bonus tip, I got a net. Most of your fly vests and chest packs will have that D loop. It's got a clip on it, it's for clipping your net. So when I want to land a fish, it's on a cord, it's stretchy, that's handy. When I'm done with it, it's got a magnet, attaches to that clip and hangs behind my shoulder out of the way. It's super handy. When I need it, I reach behind myself, grab the net, it's ready to go. When I'm done with it, put it on there. It's out of the way, it's not hanging down. And you know, when you hook them down low, which is where we always used to do it, they hang down, catch on stuff, get caught on a DL, rip your vest. This is at, you know, behind me, when I'm walking through, the sticks hit me, they're not catching that typically. It keeps it up out of the water or barely in the water most of the time, so it's not picking up weeds and garbage, and it's ready to go when I need it. Bonus tip, net clipped on the back on the D-ring. All right, that's, uh, that's my tips. Let's go catch a fish. Hey.